Before, uh, I, I want to visit with you, Ms. Maskey, but before I do, I just want to clear one thing up. Professor Bridges, you said several times, you've used a phrase, I want to make sure I understand what you mean by it. You've referred to people with a capacity for pregnancy. It, would that be women? Many women, cis women, have the capacity for pregnancy. Many cis women do not have the capacity for pregnancy. Um, there are also trans men who are capable of pregnancy, as well as non-binary people who are capable of pregnancy. So this isn't really a women's rights issue. It's a, it's, we can it's recognize a that this impacts women while also recognizing that it impacts other groups. Those things are not mutually exclusive, Senator Hawley. Oh, so your view is, is that the core of this, this right then is about what? So um, I want to recognize that your line of questioning um, is transphobic, <laughs> um, and it opens up trans people to violence by not recognizing that. Wow, you're saying that I'm opening up people to violence by asking whether or not women are the folks who can have pregnancies? So I'm one, I want to note that one out of five transgender uh, persons have attempted suicide. So I think it's important because of my line of questioning. So we can't talk about it because denying that trans people exist and pretending not to know that they exist. I'm is denying dangerous. that trans people exist by asking are you? you if you're talking are you? about women are you? having pregnancies. Do you believe that there, uh, men can get pregnant? No, I don't think so. <laughs> so you are denying that trans people exist. Thank and you. that leads to violence. Is this how you run your classroom? Are students allowed to question you? Absolutely. Or are they also treated like this? Where no, no, no. They're, they're told that to they're at opening up people to oh, violence. We have a good time questioning. in my class. You should join. Oh, I bet. You might learn a lot. Wow, I, I would learn a lot. I've learned a lot you, just know, from this exchange. I know, absolutely. Extraordinary. Yep. Um, Ms. Matsky, let me ask you something. <laughs> so you provide health care to women free of charge, right? Is that, is that right? You've absolutely. Done this, you've done this for many years. Yep. You have licensed medical professionals at your pregnancy care centers. Is, is that right? That is correct. And what are some of the, the resources that you provide for women who, who come to you in a time of need? So, just give us a, you, you talked about it in your written testimony, but just give us a, a yeah. sense of it. So we have three OBGYN doctors, five registered nurses, nurse practitioners, physician assistants, phlebotomists, medical assistants, and we provide prenatal care, OBGYN care. We provide pregnancy tests, ultrasounds, well woman visits, breast exams. Uh, we provide a wide range of medical services, yes. So what do you think about the DC politicians now saying that your clinic and the other 3,000 pregnancy care centers around this country are, are, are fake medical clinics? For instance, Senator Warren has said, it's now more important than ever to crack down on so-called crisis pregnancy centers that mislead and deceive patients. Senator Menendez, crisis pregnancy centers jeopardize women's health and well-being, all while elevating unproven theories about birth control. Uh, Senator Warner wrote to Google asking them to censor search results for care centers like yours, saying, Directing women to fake clinics that traffic in misinformation is dangerous to women's health and undermines the integrity of Google's search results. Uh, are, are, do you run a fake clinic? I mean, is, is that what's happening here? You don't provide actual medical care to actual women? We absolutely do not um, run a fake clinic. And we have a full medical staff like I said, many of our medical professionals have experienced abortion for themselves, inclu including our OBGYN doctor who used to perform abortions. So our entire medical staff is there for women, whether they choose abortion and walk out the door or whether they choose life for their baby and we support them for years after that. Do you think there ought to be an ideological test? to be able to get medical care in this country? I mean, is that, should we, should we say to women, well, you have to agree with the DC Democrats ideology, otherwise you can't go get medical care, or maybe for you and, and the physicians who work at your pregnancy care center or the thousands of others across the country, should we impose an ideological test on them and say that, well, you have to agree with the DC Democrats position on abortion or you can't provide medical care to women? Is that, should we do that in this country? Absolutely not. I, I just wanna ask in my, in my few remaining seconds here, Ms. Ms. Harley, um, the Dobbs decision, as I understand it, I, I've read it now a number of times, it gives to voters the decision as to what law should be pertaining to life and pertaining to abortion in all 50 states and, and other jurisdictions around the country. I, I'm just 
curious, do you know what percentage of voters in this country support the D.C. Democrats' position that they want to impose on the entire country, a one-size-fits-all rule they want to impose from the top down? Do you know what percentage of voters support their position, which is also, by the way, the, the same position taken by North Korea and China, other notable violators of human rights? Do you, do you know what percentage it is? I know that nearly 90% of Americans oppose abortion in the third trimester. Um, the number that would support abortion up to the moment of birth uh, has to be minuscule. It's, it's a horrific policy. Yeah, it, I mean, it, based on the most recent Harvard poll that was just released just a few days ago, it, it's less than 10% of voters say that they would support abortion into the final month of pregnancy, and yet that is the law that the D.C. politicians want to impose on every voter in America to take this away from the people, take it away from my state, take it away from all the other states and the voters in the states, but impose this law uniformly that is not supported by 90% of the American people. Talk about anti-democratic. At the same time, they want to shut down 3,000 pregnancy care centers all around this country. That's radical. Thank you for being here. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. And while you're at it, please leave us a comment. Thank you for watching.